What's up guys, it's me Jan here back again for another video and in today's video I will be going through my recce process in Richard Burns Rally as I've been asked about this a bit and this is the best way I can explain uh, what I do by showing what I do when I make notes for a stage. And uh, without further ado, let's hop on to the start line and begin our recce. Alright, here we are at the start of Rally Whistler Shakedown as it is one of the Yukon Puebla stages and uh, I'm running the Porsche because that's what I'm running in Yukon Puebla and so my recce process begins if I make notes from scratch for a stage that I've not wrecked before I begin with deleting all existing notes so I don't get uh, I don't get biased by the earlier notes and then I put empty call and then I put distance call and for some reason that works and then it reads the distance call but otherwise it doesn't there's no real logic to it at least I can't find it but uh, yeah then we come to the first corner we can see that there is a junction so we go to add then we click location so I always put it on the location where I'm at so the node gets read at the right spot and it, it is the same for every corner so I, I have some uh, some sort of an idea where I will be needing to break for example and now we can see here that it says Risto's junction Heti which is immediate or into and uh, you get this if you put two nodes very very close to each other but then you click here on the no link and the link goes off and now it just says junction right two which is what I want this to be so called good to list those. Okay, Cox. and now that I'm through the corner I put another distance calls so I know how much distance from that corner to the next okay, one Cox. and it begins I'd say there at location and that's the left six and uh, distance call and that that is pretty much the whole whole uh, uh, process and then you add your crests and all what so you you know what is coming and when that's very very important when making notes for a rally especially for a long rally like this we have and when I'm not sure what the corner is I stop at the start of the corner put add and then location so it's it's going to be added again in the location of the start of the, of the corner and then I just roll through the corner so I can see what it is and then I can put it there and after I stop after the corner I can then again put another distance call and something else here and I do my notes based on uh, on corner severity corner radius and uh, I used to have speed notes but then I realized that it's not like applicable from one car to another and that I needed to do a lot of thinking when driving with one car's speed notes uh, transferred to the other so I changed to trying to put the notes into within the corner radius or the corner severity and this is a right six and uh, you can put uh, you can put some modifiers into the notes for example here we have the right six and then we click on the modifier we can add eight things we have narrows titans cut long widens double titans don't and maybe here and uh, personally i don't use others than okay i use most of these i don't use long in this because i want to have my longs before the corner because it affects so much how the corner is being driven like for example a long left four requires a lot more of slowing down than just a left four but in some cases it might be too late to hear 
like if if the code driver says left for long, in some cases it might be too late already, and then it's fucked. So uh, that's that's why I do it this way. I put longs and shorts and all that before the corner, and that is a long red six, and then add my own personal notes. Tighten slate to three because my mod is built like that. Hell yeah. And that's the current distance call. And on the next one. And I'd say that is uh, left five Titans four. Because it is it's kinda hard with some corners. You have it's it's like in between your scale and then I might do some of that or maybe I should get a broader scale but I've already got like eight nodes so I think that's enough but then I can just add titans and all that and that's the tricky corner because it starts as a five but then it tightens to four so left five tightens to four problem solved and another distance call this is a right three and you should note that if you put the distance cost and then you put the next note less than 30 meters or 30 of these closer than your corner uh, then it doesn't read the distance call so for those cases I use notes like Yatku which means continuous and Heti which means immediate depending on how big of a distance there is between the corners but okay, now we have right three and then we have here we have water and we have a bump that is notorious for having a really bumpy water section there okay, me. and I want to mark bumps very well because the Porsche isn't bump, bump. that good with bumps and here we have a short right four I'd say and uh, we can take that we can cut there so I'll put Right for cut there. And another distance call. And uh, that's pretty Nelia, much sisalda. how it is. Okay, Nelia, this is, I don't know what this is. So again, let's put location, add a note, put location there and leave it open until we drive through the corner. And we can put it that it's a long left four tidings to two. And. Uh, Simple stuff. Now I know what what is there ahead of me, and uh, it's brilliant, <laughs> absolutely brilliant. And yes, as you may have noticed by now, this takes time. This takes time. And usually, when there's like very small kinks like this one, I don't bother marking them because I can see them. But then again, it depends also on what kind of a situation it is. If it's a small kink over a crest, then I might mark it because otherwise I wouldn't know it. That is a right six Titan slate to two, I'd say. And as it is not not long enough to not long enough to be long, I have to put it as half long. So Let's put it that. And as there's such a drastic tightening going from six, which is second fastest, to two, which is third slowest in my scale, I'll add a caution ahead of it. Usually have it like 20, no, 40, 50, 60 meters ahead of the corner, depending on how fast the place is. And uh, here we have a distance course that hasn't gotten called and we're gonna move it a bit further from the split otherwise it can cause some issues and you know when there's a split in between distance call and the next node which is right here this one uh it will just say distance call but then when you have put these notes here and then go back here and press apply it does apply and uh important is that you can't put uh, you shouldn't put uh, distance calls or whatnot too close to the splits because that causes some problems. It, usually it's enough when you move it by 0 0.1 or 0 0.2, but I've personally used 1.0 of, of a difference between 
a cor corner or a node and a split just to stay out of trouble otherwise it can lead to the time being invalidated somehow and that's not what we want and then we have a corner ending again so a beginning of a straight so another distance call this is uh this is a flat right and this is a six right but there is too short of a gap between the two to get a distance call called out so now i'll have to put I'll estimate that it was roughly 10 meters long, so I'll put it 9, nine four, 5, and then I'll put continue, so I know that there's a right, flat right, continuing into a right 6, and with a distance less of than 30 meters. And now we have another distance call here, and we are almost 1 kilometer into the stage, and this I'd say is... Uh, I mean, it starts looking like a right four again, and then tightens in the right three. So it's simple. Right four, tightens three. And uh, then we can even use modifier cut because there was very, very much space on the inside. Here we have another. Okay, now go. Okay, go. And this is. Uh, hmm. I'd say that's a short. Short, short right four and again apparently there's too little of distance so I'll put it just as continuous actually I don't think that is that short let's cancel okay, here we have a, we have a short left Let's just put a left five cut because I can see that area. Okay, and that is right five. Usually, when I see something like very, very easily, like in a slow section, I don't think marking short corners is as important as in uh, in faster sections where the corner length can matter a lot where, on how you drive the corner. Okay, Nelia. Okay, Nelia. And then again, Mix. and we have, we barely have it. I mean, it, it is like I think two or three meters plus minus when it when it uh, takes it still. So we get even though there's less than thirty here, it still marks it as thirty. It's not like a nitpicker that it needs to be exactly thirty or it won't be marked, and that's brilliant. And we have a right flat right and that continues very long so we put very long in front and uh, i don't have any scale how to measure if a corner is very long or just long i just do it how i feel and that's mainly what all the recce is about to me doing things how i feel about it and then if it makes makes me drive it badly then I change it. Then we have a distance call again. And, uh, here we have another flat right. But that's not long, that's only like here. So now we put link here and uh, we can see it's a not that short, not that long of a section ahead of a very very tight corner we let's see what corner this is i'd say yeah it's a right one as it's it's tighter than 90 but not quite happy that's one for me so there's 50 meters after a downhill right flat and a right one so before the 50 i will put put a note calling break so i know that yeah motherfucker break and then again, another distance call. And this is, uh, that is a left six, because I said so. And uh, distance call. And then another note. We barely make it into the 30s again. I'd say this is our left hairpin, yeah? But it's got, uh, 
it's not looking like left hip in from the start, so I put this note called Loiva Alku. And this is a note that I don't have in the English version as far as I know, because I just couldn't get a good translation for it. So I'm sorry, English speaking babes. For some reason, all oh, right, it it didn't go into the third list there, so we need to adjust that. So we need to put it as continues. And again, another another distance course. And as this is, you can see that on the right side here, I don't know if the mouse is being captured, but on the right side here, there is a very steep hill. So I'll put uh, K outside there as well, because I'm thoughtful like that. It would suck to drop there. It would take a lot of time. And again, here, and there's a right flat, but I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't mark it because then it really crowds this area with notes instead of me being able to hear from a distance that this is just going to be a right two. So, uh, no, I'll put it there. Let's take a bit of location back. Let's put it there. And on, on these, I usually, if there's like a very short distance cause like 30 here, I just completely remove it and just put break because you can even see on the right flat that it is break and it's very close to the next one. So uh, that's what's up. And again, let's apply that. It is a junction. I've started to... I've started to mark junctions now. No idea why, but I've just started it and I like it. Makes it somewhat a bit more clearer. And then we go to... There is a bump. Not really, so don't bother marking it. But here we can see that we go on to gravel. And uh, apparently gravels, all these surface nodes, <coughs> sorry, don't have a link in them, so they don't get get to affect the distance called distance. Okay, so we continue. And we have here a note that finally again matters to the distance call note. So we have the start of the corner here and this is uh that is a right one I'd say. Right one because she is deceptive as hell and it goes over a crest. So let's put right one over crest. And then again not really needed to put this small curvature here because it doesn't change anything there. Then there's a right two, left one, and uh, right two again. That is an annoying corner or complex if you want to put it that way. And I think I should put even a bit earlier uh, caution that yo it's narrow. So let's put it like at 19.15 so it comes after the distance call. And we put caution and then from modifier we put sumpu, uh, which means narrow. And yeah, you can put modifiers on any note. I forgot okay, to say that okay. Again, distance call, time. Okay, and uh, this is uh, left hairpin and it's in a junction, so let's put it that way. Junction left hairpin. Okay, and again, distance call. We are almost through the stage now, like 500 meters to go. And we have a flat right. And we have 
we go back to Tom. And then we have, uh, I'd say that's a left six, and we can cut it a bit. So let's, <coughs> let's put left six cut there, and a distance call. Not really the word, word to mark that one. And then there's, I'd say right five. Okay, please. And again, you can't really see that there's a junction coming on okay, the other stage. And you can't really think that, well, I'm not going to mark it in my notes because I will know the stage. There's junction right one because it's slightly more than two. So we have it here. Now it reads right five, fifth junction right one, but we are going fast there again. So I'm going to do right five break 50 junction right one. So that I will be braking on time, especially with some cars like the Porsche have very, very long braking distances. It's good to have some guidance on when to brake. And now I'm proud to present one of the specialities of my personal note mode. And we put a distance call. And uh, the next thing is finish. So normally we wouldn't get any distances anymore because there's nothing where the distance call note compares the distance to. But yours truly has made the empty call uh, note to have a link. So I can mark distance to finish by putting empty call just ahead of the finish line. And again, I'll leave uh, I'll leave a gap of one before the finish so there won't be any issues. And now we get, we have 180 before the finish. And another special in the Yannis note mod is that you can add even the note to finish. So now it says 180 to finish. <laughs> now we know we can just floor it here. And then break because it's very crowded there. And uh, there you basically have it. And now it's a critical part after creating <clears throat> creating the note. Now we have to save it. We go here, we put save. So it writes, this, writes it as a DLS file. And here we can see that it is tracked 980 and underscore M, M meaning the morning skybox. And uh, now that I'm not sure if these notes are yet good, I haven't tested them, I just press save. And next up, we will test the notes and I will correct any and every mistakes there. And my bottle water tastes funny. So I might die on this video, but worry not. It'll be good content. Now, we test, test the notes and just drop on the stage like we would. I hate this section. 
täys vasen tiukka. 50. Oikee täys asfaltille. Vasen kuus. Sisältä 80. Oikee 5. Jarro 50. Risteys. Oikee 1. 180. Maaliin. And we tested the notes, they're good. And uh, no no complaints there. And now what we need to do is to open PaceNote plugin and uh, we save. And then we will also save as BTB because uh, I'll tell you in a minute, I need to focus now. Rally Whistler Shake Down underscore 2020 dot ini. And when you're saving as btb, you need to write that dot .ini yourself, otherwise it won't save it. So now we save it, because we need to... The, the notes are put on, on these DLS files, and each skybox has their own DLS file. So now, let's go back to the menu so I can explain better what that means. We go back to Shakedown. Oh, secret shit, let's put, move away from there. And uh, we go to Rally Whistler Shakedown. Here we can see daytime. This is the skybox thing that I'm talking about. Here we have morning and then we have default. So now we go to the default thing. Default skybox O skybox. We can see it here. It says 980, 980 underscore O. And the notes are vastly different from mine. So what we need to do is we need to read from BTB, find Rally Whistler Shakedown 2020 INI and read from BTB. And now we have the right notes here and then we press save. So now it's saved to the DLS file. And now, regardless of what skybox the stage is set in, I have the right notes for it. And obviously you need to do this for every skybox. And some stages just have one. So there you don't need to do it. Some have two and some have three. And you just need to go through the menu and s skip through the daytime to see how many skyboxes there are on the stage. And there you have it. That's how I do my notes. And I hope that this video was educational and useful. And I hope that this helps you guys on making your own notes. And at least for me, it's very, very vital because otherwise they don't suck and I don't have any confidence in my driving and that's bad in rallying, that loses you time. And I'll also be linking my Pace Note plugin sound back mod in there so you can use all the fancy stuff that I just described if you wish apart from the Loiva Algo note which is like a shallow entry or something like that but it, there was no good note for it so I just left it out. And. Uh, <clears throat> But yeah, you, you have those notes available to use as well. And uh, that is all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you later this week with the iRacing 24 hours. I'm so, sorry, not 24 hours of the month, but two hours to two hours. Two times around the clock in French countryside, uh, which I will be streaming. And uh, yeah, that is all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.